That means it, it can actually mess up your brain, folks, right? But it's like, wait, wait, wait. It's good for your teeth. Why would it be messing up our brains? Okay, this is weird. I actually just went to the dentist, and she asked me, oh, what do you do? And I said, oh, you know, I work blah, 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 and, you know, I also have a radio show. Oh, really? What's the topic? Fluoride. <laughs> And she was like, oh, yeah, I totally get it. I'm like, hey, look, you know, uh, one of our friends actually, the dentist gave him fluoride pills. And she's like, what? No, they just, we just topically. No fluoride pills. Wait, you mean ingesting fluoride? I'm like, yep. Well, I mean, they, they fluoridate the water. WebMD says it, uh, fluoride is naturally occurring mineral, and it's used to remineralize the teeth to repair the enamel layer to prevent tooth decay. Tooth decay is very important. Healthy teeth, healthy gums, healthy life, right? Here's the history of fluoride. It was back in 1909 where Dr. Frederick McKay went to Colorado Springs and he found scores and scores of people who had these gnarly brown spotted teeth. He literally said it looked like chocolate. What he also found was is that their teeth enamel was like extremely hard. Their teeth look horrible, but they're like impervious. I mean, they're like bulletproof vest. We had a guy come out from, uh, I believe it was Europe, a Dr. Black, and they found with people, they called it the brown stain condition. After studies and studies, they found it was because there was so much natural occurring fluoride, they actually had fluorosis, so they had way too much fluoride. But their enamel was, was hard. But back in 1948, they actually started a 15 year study of 30,000 school children in Grand Rapids, right, Michigan, where they actually fluoridated the water and found 60% drop in tooth decay. That's profound. I mean, that, that, that's proof right there. CDC.gov says that water fluoridation is cost effective because it saves money for families and the healthcare system. What are the side effects? EPA actually lists fluoride as a chemical with substantial evidence of developmental neurotoxicity. That means it, it can actually mess up your brain, folks, right? But it's like, wait, wait, wait. It's good for your teeth. Why would it be messing up our brains? Okay, this is weird. This is from Mercola.com. U.S. drinks more fluoride than in the rest of the whole entire world combined. Here's something interesting. Western Europe says 97% drink non-fluoridated water. The World Health Organization says that fluoridated countries do not have less tooth decay. Did I read that right? Yes, I'm reading that right. There's a 500-page scientific study. Fluoride is an endocrine disruptor. I don't even know what that means. I didn't have time. I wrote this last night at like 2 in the morning, okay? Put down the Us Weekly. Just type this in real quick. Endocrine disruptor, all right? That can affect your bones, your brain, your thyroid gland, your penile gland, and blood sugar levels. There was 34 human studies and 100 animal studies. They showed fluoride as a link to brain damage, including lower IQ in children. It also uh, included increased lead absorption, hyperactivity. It disrupts synthesis of collagen, muscle disorders, thyroid disease, arthritis, dementia, bone fractures, bone cancer, inhibited formation of antibodies. Pretty sure that's not good for your uh, immune system. <laughs> oh, drink up. Um, genetic damage and cell death, increased tumor and cancer rate, disrupted immune system, and always lovely damaged sperm and increased infertility. Well, why not? Too many people, right? So I started digging into what is actually dumped into all these water places. They actually add fluorosilistic acid. So it's not the natural stuff that the people from Colorado Springs got and made their teeth turn gnarly brown and, and made them all super hard. It's actually fluorosilistic acid, which is captured in air pollution control devices of the phosphate fertilizer industry. Are you... What? Sometimes truth is stranger than fiction, folks. So here's something from the Fluoride Action Group. This captured fluoride acid is the most contaminated chemical added to public water supplies and may impose additional risks to those presented by natural fluorides. These risks include a possible cancer hazard from the acid's elevated arsenic content and a possible neurotoxic hazard from the acid's ability, under some conditions, to increase erosion of lead in old pipes. Drink up. Fluoride is added to 72% of the nation's water supplies. It's affecting the drinking water of 62% of Americans. Topical makes sense. Ingesting it? I don't know. The fluorosilistic acid doesn't sound like so much fun, does it? Don't question it. Just uh, just drink up, shall we? And hey, oh, this next segment is actually brought to you by uh, the same makers of Zimborta. It's new fluoridated water that you can get bottled for your kids. And it comes in these handy dandy fun eight ounce sizes. Oh, so you can get as much as you want for as long as you want. Don't worry about the dosage. Oh, everybody have fun, cause you're gonna be smiling and docile. Oh, mommy, could I have some more water? Sure, honey. Drink up everybody. Woohoo!
be well, there I believe is a that. law that goes I believe our founding fathers. It is the duty of the citizens of this country this show. to defend I, I, liberty, exercising my to hold speech. the and government I'm about accountable. accountable. And I'm talking about what? supporting the Constitution. Where's the